I thought that I would break down a couple yoga poses and postures to help stretch out some of the biggest muscles of the body, our quads, to open up the hip flexors, to lengthen these muscles, and to just make our lower bodies feel less congested and shortened and really elongate through the legs, the hips, the pelvis region, and dive deep, deep, deep into those quad muscles that can be so sore. Now, these postures might be a little bit difficult for some people, so I'm gonna start with a very modified version and then work all the way up to a very intense version for people that have a little bit more flexibility and give already in those muscles. Okay, to get started, the first one is Vajrasana. This is it, just sitting right here on the heels. So making a little space for your butt to scooch in and sitting. Sometimes this is enough for people on their quads. Option to take the hands back and just lean back into it. Big reminder to always breathe. Take very deep breaths during these postures. All right, to step things up a little bit, you can find your hands and knees, and we're gonna open the legs a little wider and take the toes out to the side of your mat. If you have a bolster or a block that you want to slide between the legs, if you're just starting out with your recline hero, you can do that. If not, just take your butt right in between. Now, some things that we don't want here, we don't want any strain or pain or pulling on the knees. So if you're feeling that in this position, prop your hips up higher until you don't feel that. Another great trick is to take your thumbs and slide them up your calves and just move your calves to the outside. Good. If the tops of the feet is what you feel the most, again, elevate the hips up a little bit to alleviate some of that pressure. If you'd like a little more, I'm just going to walk away from the wall a little bit. If you'd like a little bit more of a deeper stretch, again, take the hands behind, and as you do, as you start to lower down, lift the hips up and point the tailbone that way to the edge of your mat. Maybe coming to elbows, again, lift, point the tailbone, slide it out. Holding and breathing here. Or if you can, lower down a little bit more. Again, lift the hips and move them forward. Or sorry, the tail won't slide forward. And find a comfortable resting position. Nice job. Now I have one more to show you. That's a very advanced, intense stretch. But first, if you are where I'm at right now, to come out of this, grab hold of the feet or the ankles, use the core, tilt the head up first, press into the elbows, and then lift yourself up. From this position, we always just want to walk ourselves forward. Oh, there we go. So there's no twisting of the knees. Maybe just press those legs back. Lengthening up the calf muscles. Okay, next one. I'm gonna dump over my back for a little extra cushion for my knees. If you have a blanket or a pillow, you can go ahead and do that as well. So this next one is called King Arthur Pose and it's done using a wall. 
Uh, it's nice to have some blocks handy as well. I forgot mine today, so I'm going to try my best with these long fingers. <laughs> um, this again, this pose is advanced, so uh, you can stay in one of the variations before to stretch out the um, front of the body, or if you want to give this one a try, you can follow along. We start on our hands and knees, and we take our toes to the wall. From here, I'm going to take my left knee and slide it to the wall, bringing that shin up against the wall, top of the foot against the wall, so it's all parallel. From here, if you have blocks, you can use them or come up onto your fingertips and bring that right foot forward in front of you. So we're in a lunge position. All right, you can just lean into it, walk that knee out, keeping that knee over top of the ankle. You might be feeling this already, I am. And you can just hold here. Another option would be to bring the hands to the top of the thigh. And again, lean forward, lunge. You're really gonna feel that pull on the left side, the psoas muscle, all down the quad. Finding your edge here. Alternatively, you can bring the back towards the wall, pressing into that right foot. This changes the direction of the stretch a little bit. Again, this is most intense. King Arthur pose. Good, let's come out of it. Take those hands down to the floor or blocks. Walk that right leg back underneath you and come forward away from the wall. I like to drop the hips forward and back a couple times. Whew. All right, let's try the other side. Move slow, be mindful of your movements. Not every side is pretty equal. So the toes come against the wall first, and your hands in these position, and then we're going to take the right knee to the base for the wall on the floor knee. From here, come up onto blocks or fingertips, and bring that left foot out in front, just like we're in a low lunge. Good, let's hold here for a little bit. I think I feel tighter on this side. <laughs> Maybe bringing hands to the side. Lunging forward. So all these postures today are going to help you with your back bends as well. It's going to help open up the lower body so that when you're going into that bridge pose or chakrasana, your wheel pose, um, you have a lot more space. You're more expansive. It's going to feel great. All right, maybe leaning back. Woo! Remember, always imagine the breath traveling in through the nostrils and down into that area that's talking to you. Replenishing those ligaments, the joints, the muscles with fresh, clean oxygen. You can hold as long as you want. Take it easy if this is your first time. And to get out, we come forward. Take that foot or that leg underneath us. Leg comes off the wall. And those hips drop. There you have it. That is King Arthur Pose. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to see um, little videos, clips, or pictures of you giving any of these postures today a uh, try at home.
Uh, please share with us in the Grace and Flow community and Facebook page.